Brilliant. And then just tell us a little bit about, uh, so if you imagine that there's uh, a family at home um, thinking about coming out for the day. Oh, there you better run. I just hope it don't go in the snags though, A.D. Keep him out, boy, keep him out. What's the good end? Lindy, just do us a favour and see if I've knocked my coffee all over. I just said have a look, see if I've knocked my coffee all over. Dale, do us a favour, get the unhooking mat, yeah. chuck it in the water, wet it up, the other side, not the side what it is now. Nah, this, this feels half decent. I think it's a double. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Lost one already today. I can't afford to lose another one. That's out. Oh, it's an eel. That's a proper specimen. Scales out for that. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the hook in it? <laughs> I don't know. Bit of a slippy, slippery customer. Yeah, it's right in the bottom of his mouth, but... If you can pull it through... It'll come out now. I make that four pound exactly. Nice four pound eel, Eddie. Yeah. But it weren't a carp, mate. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Okay. Yeah. Bit of a fight for you though, mate, eh? Hey? Yeah, not bad. He's gone. Soon shot off. Shame it won a carp though. <laughs> that was on a fruity boily as well. Don't believe it, can you? No. I could understand it but if it was on a, like a fishy boily, but yeah. being on a fruit, yeah. But that's crazy, that is. I broke caught one like that on bread. Yeah? <laughs> they adapt though, innit? That's what it is. Yeah. 
That's the only trouble with eels, they're full of slime. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll put that back anyway. Thanks very much, Eddie. Thanks yeah, no worries.